everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be linked to blue monday now today is supposedly the most depressing day of the year now according to scientists there is no scientific link to this it's just that it's january it feels like january the 80th instead of the 21st January is such a long, cold, dark, dank month. Now, not only is it one of probably the most depressing days of the year, and one of the longest months of the year, it doesn't help by the fact that mental health can also be affected by this. Now, I wanted to raise awareness on this in particular because... You know, we have these days in which we talk about mental health on social media, like um, mental health awareness um, week, day, month. We have these specific set months and days where we talk about mental health and that's kind of it. We're very, as humans, we don't like to talk about our emotions openly and those days are those days in which we talk about mental health and how we can overcome certain things. Now, in my experience, I have suffered with anxiety and depression. So I know exactly what it's like to go through something in which you don't want to get out of bed in the morning. And I'm not using that term lightly either. So today is the day in which I talk about mental health and a couple of things in which could maybe put a pep in your step or if you're feeling down some things that you can do to have a at least a second of your day that little bit better that little bit happier so let's go now one of my favorite things that I love to do especially when I'm sad or down is listen to music music is made for every type of event and emotion there is no one particular song in which that category or feeling isn't in. When I'm feeling down, sometimes I like to listen to sad music so I let all my emotions and feelings out whilst that song is playing. When that song has finished playing, you know, I'll either rewind it to let my emotions out again or completely stop and listen to a happier one. Sometimes when you're feeling down, happy music can't always mend things. You have to be sad before you can be happy which is a case that a lot of people do go through. And I have done this a lot over the past month or so. Another thing I like to do is message close family and friends. Now, this makes me happy because um, I'm able to check up on them and if they're happy, it makes me happy. If they're sad, I can try and help make them happy again. And it's not always as simple as you know making someone laugh but that you know few seconds few minutes that you're speaking to that person and you see them smile or you see them giggle about something in in their day in which may be a little bit difficult it's always lovely to see someone laugh or smile or even you know share a joke or something now here are a couple of things that you can do to help others as well as maybe yourself first thing you can do is talk to people like your family talk to close family that you may not have talked to in a while maybe even five minutes on the phone or something like that can really make someone's day especially with the elderly at this time of year a lot of elderly people are on their own and it is absolutely heartbreaking that they are on their own they may not have people that they can talk to or be close to this is where Age UK plays a massive part in that and that is something that I'm very passionate about especially at this time of year or any time of year. It's really important that we get those people the love and support that they truly deserve. Now that also goes for younger people as well. Now the younger demographic is you know all over the place when it comes to mental health because you know we have all sorts of things going on and it's stressful it's 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 not you know at the moment it's not really the world isn't a place where you want to sing and dance because there are so many things happening now another thing you can do 
is open the door for someone something as simple as that because you're showing them that you want them to be invited into that room now it may be a little bit deep that kind of metaphor um but to them they might feel really welcomed and really warmed by that and that is something that you should also take into consideration and the third thing you could do is make a cup of tea for someone i mean the most british thing anyone could ever do is make a cup of tea simply by asking them do you want a tea or coffee or whatever can simply make someone's day and just by asking them that simple question it might start off some other part of conversation which is really really good and then we can talk more openly about mental health so if any of you guys are struggling with mental health or anything like that I'll try and find some links or numbers to be in the description if you want to use them at any one point then you can I do want to point out this video is not sponsored it is not um, you know I haven't had to I've not been um, approached by any brands to talk about this I simply wanted to sit here today and just give six seven minutes of my time just to talk to you about Blue Monday and how we can turn Blue Monday into maybe a different color light blue Monday because light blue is a beautiful color and I love the color blue so there you go thank you so much for watching as I mentioned earlier there will be um, a number or a link in the description in which you can follow and I hope it helps bye